Good morning everybody, this is Sid here and welcome back to the Nomad Motorcycles YouTube channel. Uh, today what we've got with us is a good old standard 350 <coughs> restoration. This is a 90s bullet 350 uh, restored for Mr. Sayyad. Uh, he brought the bike to us after seeing a bike that we had restored a little over a year ago. Mm, he wanted to do he wanted us to do a straight out copy of that bike and unfortunately we don't do that so he was slightly disappointed but he's happy with what he's got now we've this bike has the engine has been overhauled as you can see and every little detail has been paid attention to uh we've got a little uh, some of the body components have been switched out for parts from the older bike and also more a few more things here and there um what I can point out immediately is that the mud guards are the flared and ridged mud guards, flat side boxes, oval air filter box, <coughs> the suspension units with the covers on them, um, the handlebar, uh, the wheels. I mean, the we've got the hub, we've got the cycle hub brakes on installed on the bike now. Um, apart from smaller details here and there, including. The aluminum stand and the pressed metal levers etc now when this bike came to us it was in a really bad state like a really bad state and right now since covid's hit <coughs> we've had a little bit of issues sourcing some parts uh the older bullet parts are becoming harder and harder to find now i'll just take you for a quick walk around so that you can see the bike from all its different angles. I love this old butterfly leg guard. You'd normally see them on the old military bullets. And I love the way they look. They give the bike a real old school vibe. Um, we've, there are those pressed metal levers, um, vintage throttle assembly, um, including the Smith's meter, the headlamp buttons, and a few other things here and there. <coughs> the bike was just completed yesterday, and it's only done about. It's only done 11 kilometers right now. She's running like, she's running like butter. <clears throat> I've still got to brush paint the, the head and the cylinder assembly <clears throat> and touch those up. But apart from that, the bike's done. So, apart from showing you the bike today, guys, um, first off, I try and stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant now um, I want to tell you guys about uh, the next phase that I have with Nomad <coughs> now since Covid's hit we we have managed to recover and projects are going out albeit not as fast as I'd like them to um, there's shortage of spares in the, in the industry including the old um, parts for the older oil enfields and ESDs and things like that. Apart from that, there's also a shortage of generic parts because of the import regulations on China and also a whole bunch of issues sourcing tires. If any of you guys own big bikes and have been trying to switch out your tires recently, you'll know what I'm talking about. So. <clears throat> There are a whole bunch of issues, right? All of these issues combined have been making it really difficult for us to push out bikes at the same speed that we used to before. Um, it's been creating um, a bottleneck in our process. And I've decided, and it's been getting really stressful for me, guys. I'll be pretty straightforward. It's been getting really uh, stressful for me. So now I've decided to stop doing these commercial builds I mean trying to push out four or five projects a month 
and instead just take up one project at a time maybe two projects at a time um, and really enjoy those bring my overheads down um, this is also going to affect my YouTube channel because now the next phase of this YouTube channel is going to be the BYOB program the build your own bike program where I am going to build one bike at a time in my shed over here and take you through the process and also um, and you know show you how it's done so that if any of y'all are looking to do a project yourselves you'll have some support and some ideas and something to refer to especially if y'all are gonna work on Royal Enfields now each bike that I do up in my personal time now is gonna be featured on the YouTube channel the entire process and after the bikes done it's gonna go on sale um, all numbers and figures will be disclosed as the projects are being done transparently so yeah I'll just I'm in the process of moving stuff from my workshop to the side <coughs> to my shed here <coughs> and that's the shed right now it's a mess I've got my friend Robin's RD350 here which um which we actually opened up to do uh, some slight restorations on but um Robin's now in two minds and he's looking at customizing his RD350 and turning it into a cafe racer. I'm really looking forward to that. So, this is something really good for every, all of y'all that are watching these videos um, because y'all are going to be included in the work that's being done. Y'all are going to be able to see everything as and when it's being done with all the upgrades and fabrication happening in front of you. <clears throat> now if you're looking forward to the BYOB program I really suggest you like subscribe and comment because it really helps me out it helps the algorithm pick up our tiny little channel and it'll help other people that are looking for Royal Enfield um, projects and <coughs> looking for ideas for their own bike to find Nomad motorcycles so I'm gonna leave y'all on that note and um, yeah, peace out.